What's up guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and today we're changing her up. We're putting the Remington Magnum 3 inch rifled slug. We're going to test this in the ballistics gel at 50 yards to see what these do in the gel. The gun I'm going to be using today is old school. It's a Mossberg 695 bolt action. It's got a rifled barrel, and as you can see we got the ballistics gel downrange, 50 yards, and we're going to see what a rifled slug does in the ballistic shell. We've been curious for a while after doing our broadhead test. We're at 50 yards. We figure that's a good yardage to start. So let's just see if this can make it through the gel and what it does to the gel. So let's get after it. All right, so here we go. Three inch rifled slug, 50 yards, ballistic shell. Let's see what happens. We got a camera down there. We're going to put that in slow-mo. It should be pretty cool. So let's get it. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> oh, that was cool. All right, so here we go. This is the entrance right here, as you can see. And uh, she hit good. And it, as you go up top here, you can actually see how it mushrooms out. So looking through the top, it's a little foggy, but you can see how it mushroomed out. And then as it gets through, it starts to narrow out. And it did make it through the exit is extremely small so as you can see it mushrooms out and as it progresses through it starts to narrow back down it did go through it hit we had the backstop just in case it went through we weren't positive but it hit right here went through hit the metal backstop and there she is right there so it did get through at 50 yards and that was pretty fun i'm not gonna lie so we had the camera on the side the slow-mo is going to be pretty gnarly. This might be a little clearer on the side here. The bigger mushroom is the actual slug. This right here is a broadhead cut. But you can see how it progressed through and it actually narrowed down as it got through the gel. The exit hole is puny. That's what's throwing us off here. But it is how it exited through. So this gel is that dense. It might have just compacted right back down. But that's pretty cool to see what a, a rifled slug actually does in ballistic shell. We've been curious about it, but that's impressive. I honestly didn't think it would get through the gel, but that's awesome. That was cool. And I hope the slow-mo, it didn't knock it off fast enough so you could really see it get through. I think it's going to be pretty cool. All right, so this test actually was pretty shocking. We're, we're still very confused at the small exit. We're thinking maybe it got turned in the gel and went out that way because it did pass through and we found it back there. So it's just weird how it blew up and got smaller as it progressed. But if this test you found it interesting, we can continue doing ballistics tests for both rifles and shotguns for whitetail. Just drop a comment below if you'd like that to continue. We'll do it. This was pretty fun, I'm not going to lie. But if you haven't yet, make sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and we're going to be mixing it up for the next couple weeks. We do broadhead tests, pattern tests, and ballistics tests of whitetail loads and rounds if you'd like to see that. So drop a comment below, let us know, and we'll keep doing it. But this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and we got more to film. So we'll catch you on the next one.